Welcome to Inspired by Digital Influence, where we are going to be running through some of the work that we've been doing for some awesome clients. So this is our first episode, and I'm sitting down with Sarah here, who's Digital Influence's Creative Director. And so today we're going to be talking about Tiny Door. This might be a business that you haven't heard of before, and to be honest, neither have we, but we have been so amazed and excited mm-hmm. to have been working on this project. And so Sarah's going to talk us through sort of how we came up with the process and the campaign for the launch of Tiny Door on the first four weeks. So to start us off, Sarah, let's talk about what is Tiny Door. Tiny Door is a really cool new um, way of delivering food in the hospitality industry. So I think it's been done overseas, but it's definitely never been done in New Zealand before. So basically the concept is it's a hole in a wall style food and they have three uh, slots, breakfast, lunch and dinner, which then food partners can hire out. So say for example, they've um, got Bar Yoku, which is a really um, popular bar in Christchurch. And basically they have like slotted out the uh, lunchtime slot and then they can come serve their food and then uh, um, customers can come visit they can order through uh, the website online or they can scan the QR code at the door and then uh, um, there's this cute little door that uh, they'll slide the food over and yeah cool okay well tiny door came on to DI when they obviously have never had another business in New Zealand before so this is the very first one so we had about eight weeks before they launched and so they haven't even launched yet so we're still pre-launch um but in the first four weeks says run us through how you managed to you know create a little bit of interest you know how do you introduce a brand that isn't currently available yeah. to visit yet yeah so i knew running into that um launch time that that was potentially had um the potential to be a little bit more fluid um so i knew that there was quite a long run-up time compared to perhaps other launches that were done in the past so what i really wanted to play around with was making sure that you know this hard-earned audience that we were that we were building was wasn't going to get bored with this concept if we were just posting you know about it so for the first four weeks we played around with the idea of what's behind the tiny door so I actually took quite a lot of inspiration from um, the one of the most loved brands in New Zealand Pals I feel like everybody talks about Pals but it's they just immaculate um, and when they launched um, the red one their red drink and they um, teased the flavors with it a little bit more so I kind of wanted to play on that idea of human psychology and you always want what you can't have or you always want to know what you what you don't know so um for four weeks we played around with like billboard signs and uh, um you know trucks with uh, um big slogans splashed across the thing in the tiny door colors um and all it said was like what's behind the tiny door so it was really cool to see this um play out um you know I wasn't necessarily expecting a lot of buy-in per se, and considering I think when we came on there were probably like 60 followers. Um, so there, it's quite, and it was all organic. I have to put that out there as well. We have not paid at all. We have not pushed anything. So, um, so yeah, to see the organic reach and to see people buy in and genuinely like commenting, you know, and then people coming up to DI and being like, oh my God, I saw that thing that you were doing. What is behind the tiny door? So that was really cool. Yeah. So now that you've captured a bit of attention on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, what are you planning, how are you planning on holding? Yeah, so that was obviously the next challenge, but what we knew we wanted to do from the get-go was, you know, hammer home that short form video content. I mean, one, our audience is between that kind of like anywhere from um, 18 to like 45 or but also in the same breath anybody that's hungry is our target audience but um, in saying that you know short form video is the best way to get across messages Um, people's attention span is so short so we've been putting lots of um, video out and um, I've been lucky enough to front a lot of those videos (laughs) um, which has been cool Um, and also it's I think people appreciate when like almost not a face but a voice behind it um that they they begin to recognize so um we've also been playing around with that human psychology again with not giving everything all in one go with um our partner reveals um so we'll do a little teaser you know a little clue about who the partner reveals can be um and sometimes we'll do a little competition you know win a 50 dollar voucher to this popular cafe um, and then the next day we'll do like some sort of video reveal around um, who they are and showcasing a little bit about what they'll be offering at the tiny door. 
Awesome. So out of all of the, the vendors that have been um, announced so far, who has been your favourite one that you've been to go see so far? Oh, that is such a tough question <laughs> because I've been You're lucky. Spot. I know. Well, I've been lucky enough to go along and I get to sample quite a lot of the food as well. <laughs> um, so to say I've got a favourite would, would be quite a tough one, but I would have to say, um, you know, the Christchurch famous, if not New Zealand wide famous Smoky Teas is bringing a brand new um, brand, which is Ando's. So they're doing New Orleans style um sandwiches so that was really cool i um, got to go along to the um testing stage in the testing phase where they, they were trying out all of the state-of-the-art equipment from tiny door um so that was really cool to be part of that and then also to get to try it as well so um really cool to see like a crash shirt born and bred um brand really making waves and going in, on to the next stage of their their journey so yeah now, a really huge part of what's made the Tiny Door campaign so successful so far has really been user-generated content, so UGC. Um, and this is a bit of a newer term, and video is still pretty new to the industry, but what can you say about the, the use of UGC for Tiny Door and maybe potentially some other people who want to, you know, get some higher organic views and even, you know, boost their paid reach and engagement who are already running campaigns. Cool. So to start off with, we knew that UGC was going to play a massive role um, simply because of how popular, you know, um, it's been on TikTok. With this particular audience, they really thrive off short form video. It's easy to consume. Their attention spans can absorb it. Um, and also, I guess one thing that we've really experienced as well was with a bit of a change in the social um, media um, area is that uh, um, influencers, you know, uh, traditional influencers say with 50 to 100k, if not more, um, aren't really as popular anymore. I mean, one, they're really expensive for small brands to use. Um, and two, UGC is a lot of the time free or extremely cheap to make and it actually resonates with the audience more because um, it feels more authentic and more real um, you know you're getting people's real feelings and not because um, they're getting paid to do so so we wanted that kind of style of video so I had to front the front the videos um, I took on that role um, but it's really cool because we've seen genuine organic again we we have not put any um, paid stuff behind that it's all organic um, and we've seen really great engagement and reach so that's been really cool. Awesome. Well, we can't reveal our next secrets for the Tiny Door campaign. What we can tell you is that Tiny Door is opening. It's very Tiny Door very soon. So, sis, let us know when can we first head to the Tiny Door. So, it will be open the first weekend of September. So, it would be great to see, um, you know, as many people down there as possible. The team behind Tiny Door have worked so hard and we've worked really hard on it as well. So, it would be great to see you all down there for launch weekend. But not just launch weekend. It would be really cool to support this new Christchurch business. So, yeah, everybody get behind it. <laughs> we, we can't, can't wait, wait to see you at the, the tiny, tiny door. door.